Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacklet Educational Channel. So this video is very important about the COP26 that is the conference of parties which is going on in Glasgow. So this is important for any competitive exams and we will know what are the gifts or what are the commitments from our Prime Minister Modi towards the climate change fight. So everything we will know. Get ready with the notes so that you can write all these points. So without any delay, let's get started. So first of all, let us know who is conducting this conference of parties. So this is conducted by the United Nations Climate Change Conference that is UN is conducting this. And in 2021, it is going on in Glasgow, Scotland, which is in United Kingdom. And it is the 26th such gathering. That's why the name is COP26. And you have to comment me in the comment section that when was and where was COP1 conducted. So COP1 cup conduct kiya gaya tha. Or kaha pe conduct hua tha. Aap mujhe comment section mein batayenge. So now this conference is going on from 31st of October to 12th of November 2021. So these are also important. And this ongoing COP26 summit on the climate change is the basic group of four nations. So what are this basic group of four nations? Ye kon kon hai? Ye hai Brazil, South Africa, India and China. So these are basic group of four nations. You should know these things. And what they are doing? They are pursuing a new long term climate funding objective. And as we know, Panchamrut, which is given as the gift from our nation, that is India, will know one by one what are the five commitments from our country towards the fighting of climate change. So the first commitment that is the part of the Panchamrit part one is India will increase its non-fossil power capacity to 500 gigawatt by 2030. So ye jo hai commitment hai. इसके द्वारा इंडिया ने ये प्लेज किया है कि इंडिया का जो नॉन फॉसिल पावर है, for example बायोडीजल, RDF that means refused derived fuel, battery और fuel cells, hydrogen gas जो भी नॉन फॉसिल पावर सोर्सेस हैं, इनकी जो कैपेसिटी को 500 जीगावाट तक करने की by 2030, so ये कमिटमेंट वन है, इसको आप नोट कर लीजिए। Let's move to the second commitment. So this is the commitment to by India. So what is this? This states that by 2030, India will use its renewable energy to meet 50% of its energy needs. So that means out of the complete 100% energy which will be needed in our country, the amount of renewable energy will be 50% of that. So, aadha jo energy hoga, renewable energy se hum meet karenge. India is pledging this thing. So, this is by 2030, it will be committed. Let's move to the third commitment. So, the third commitment is between now and 2030. That means between this last 2021 and 2030, India will eliminate 1 billion tons of total estimated carbon emission. So, India ne ye pledge kiya hai ki abhi se lekar 2030 tak 1 billion tons of carbon emission ko eliminate karne ke liye in the COP26 commit. So, let's move to the fourth commitment by India. So, the commitment for given by India is India will lower the carbon intensity of its economy to less than 45 percent by 2030. So, ye jo hai, ye keh raha hai, India jo hai by 2030, economy ka jo carbon intensity hai, usko 45 percent se less karne ka ye commitment hai. So, India will lower the carbon intensity of its economy to less than 45 percent by 2030. Let's move to the final commitment that is the Panchamrut ka Panchwa commitment. So this is the most important commitment, the commitment 5. So it is stating that by 2070, 2070 tak, India will have achieved net zero emission. So what is this net zero emission? This is telling about the net zero emission for the greenhouse gases, specifically carbon dioxide. So this is telling that how can we achieve net zero emission? So it can be achieved by 
planting more trees by increasing the forest cover so that they will absorb the carbon dioxide and the other greenhouse gases and also we have to reduce the emission from our country overall so that net that is emission and the reduction that is the sink carbon sink will be giving rise to the zero emission to the greenhouse gases so it is very very important as per as climate change tackling is concerned so india by 2070 will have achieved net zero emission for the greenhouse gases now let's move to the some other important points coming up from this cop 26 so this is coming for the climate financing where our prime minister narendra modi have called upon developed economies that means he has called developed nations to make 1 trillion dollar available for climate financing to deal with the climate change he has called upon the developed countries so developed economies not developing it is for developed countries to make 1 trillion dollar available for climate financing to fight against the climate change सो so, ये भी एक इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है आपको नोट डाउन करना है लेट्स मूव टू सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स फॉर द अदर नेशंस सो हियर कम्स आवर मेन विलन चाइना हु इज एमिटिंग द हाइएस्ट अमाउंट ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस गैसेज सो वट चाइना हैज स्टेटेड सो चाइना हैज स्टेटेड दैट इट विल अचीव कार्बन न्यूट्रलिटी बाय द ईयर ट्वेंटी सिक्सटी तो चाइना ने कहा है बाय द ईयर ट्वेंटी सिक्सटी वो कार्बन न्यूट्रल हो जाएंगे उनका एमिशन और उनका एब्जॉर्बन equal to zero ho jayega so here coming to the united states and european union they have aimed to achieve this net zero emission by the year 2050 so yeah 10 years before china hai and now coming to our country india india has pledged to reduce its emission to zero that is zero emission by the year 2070 so this 2070 it is falling short of the target so these countries the cop nations were committing that this goal should be achieved by 2050 but india has moved till 2070 so 20 years add ho gaya hai this is not a good sign but china is telling by 2060 they will become carbon neutral and us and european union are telling that they will achieve this net zero emission target by the year 2050 so these three are very important kindly note down and these were some of the important facts from the cop 26 and if you like this don't forget to subscribe the channel hit the notification icon to get all further updates and if you are preparing for the environmental science entrances don't forget to join our telegram page learn for the environment for the daily quizzes and instagram page environmental science preparation for the important updates and current affairs so see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in yourself